In this video, you will learn about what post-processing does to a case. You'll also learn when it is activated automatically and when you may benefit from invoking it manually. So what does post-processing do? What you see on the scan page is actually a preview. It is designed to give you real-time feedback to guide you through the scanning process. However, as time for processing during scanning is limited, the level of detail is also limited. When the case is sent, the entire scan is automatically reprocessed to reveal the full level of detail. As more time is available, the system may employ more advanced algorithms, which will again bring out more detail. This way, the lab will always have the maximum level of detail to work on. Let's illustrate how you may actively use this post-processing when setting the margin line. First, we need a scan. Select a patient, create a case, and select a lab in the usual manner. Then fill in the order form. Select the tooth on which the restoration will be made, the indication, material, and other details. When your order is ready, proceed to the scan page and make scans using the recommended scan strategy. For the purpose of this video, only the upper scan will be made where the restoration is. In order to do that, select the upper arch in the workflow bar. Start scanning. When the scan is ready, mark the tooth chosen in the order form and move to the Analyze page. Once on the Analyze page, you can examine the scan and set the margin line, serving as guidance for the technician. Turning off the colours will in many cases make the 3D detail stand out more clearly. The scan shown on the screen is the preview from the scan page. By invoking the post-processing, you will bring out even more detail. In general, 3Shape recommends to post-process before setting the margin line, as the margin will stand out more clearly and consequently will be easier to set. Let's illustrate what to do and the difference it makes. Now post-process the scan. Click the post-process button in the Tools menu. Please note that when doing post-processing using the Tools menu in the Analyze step, it will take some time and you will have to wait for the process to finish before continuing your work on the case. The better the PC performance, the shorter the post-processing time. Also, smaller scans will require less post-processing time than large cases. If you implement any modification of the scan later on during work, for example adding a HD photo, you will need to do post-processing once again. It is the same procedure that the software always does automatically while sending a case to a laboratory. Now the case is post-processed. Note how the level of detail has now increased. The dental lab will always see the post-process scan because it is automatically processed during the sending procedure. Now the scan has been post-processed, you can place the margin. In order to create a margin line automatically, press the margin line button in the lower tools bar. If necessary, the margin line can be adjusted manually. If you wish, you may also see the difference on your own system. Here is what to do. On the Analyze page, take a snapshot of the preview. To do that, select the Tools menu on the lower panel and choose the Snapshot button. Then go to the Tools again and Post Process. Finally, take another snapshot. Select the Tools menu on the lower panel and choose the Snapshot button. Now go to the Order Form window. To do that, click on the Order Form button in the Workflow bar. Then click on the Images panel and select the snapshots from the list on the right. Switch between the screenshots to see the effect of the post-processing. Now you know how to use the post-process tool. We hope our video was helpful and thank you for watching.